we're gonna catch him or her yeah. it's got to be within the next hour went back up here where I was the day before Thanksgiving and we trailed that lion all day long I mean all day long didn't come back up here I had a flat tire when I got back home uh, the day before Thanksgiving and I was gonna try to get it fixed and put a spare on and go out Thanksgiving Day and you know well, my wife kind of frowned upon that she thought if I got out I might not make it back for Thanksgiving dinner even though Thanksgiving Day was my birthday too so so I'm two days behind now I had a pretty good idea I thought when I was trailing you know the day before Thanksgiving I thought that that was probably a overnight lion track I'm not sure heck that lion might have been right in front of us that's a debate we have you know whether the those those lions like that whether they just hear the dogs coming and they stay out in front or if you're trailing an overnight track and you just never got her jumped you know never got to where she where you got her jumped I don't know I used to think that she was always trotting out in front of me but then after I had the 36 hour old track where she went through a game camera and I was trailing her and I was 36 hours behind her, I don't really know now. I, it's kind of confusing. But anyway, I'm gonna go to some uh, another place where I trailed before, kind of lines up to where I trailed to the other day, see if I can pick up a track and, 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 and figure out where she is or where she's going. And I say she, I say, yeah, there could be two lions. Could, she could be, have some kittens back over here. I don't really know. You know, I, I haven't seen a, any tracks or anything in any Sandia Royas or anything like that to, for me to know exactly what was going on. But I'll keep looking. It's close to the house. It's handy. I know, I know, I know, I know there'll be a Tom come in here soon. And when the Tom comes in here, we have a real good chance of catching it. But just have to see I don't know what I'm, you know and then I got to go back to Texas I got work I gotta do came through two days ago too. Sissy ain't that interested in it. Sissy or P opened up a couple times. She's whipping her tail a little bit. She's I mean she's probably old. But I know where to go. And I don't know, it frosted last night. So I don't know how hard it frosted up here and I don't know, you know, who's to say they walk on top of the frost and then the frost melts off and then there's no scent left. Or if they walk underneath the frost, the frost comes on and then lifts the scent or doesn't freshen it up. It's cold. I mean, it's cold. There's old fat Lori eating mesquites. There's something wrong with that dog. they're messing around with a fox or a bobcat or something. I rode around, rode over that rim, come up, and now I'm going to go up on top of here and work my way back that way. That big mountain right there, right below it to the left on the other side is where we trailed two, two days ago. Who knows? But this is good country. It's not too bad to get around in. It's a little steep right here. But you just, you know, you just hit a zigzag going up through here and take the steepness out of it. Got a few barks up on top again, but nothing to speak of. Should I go up and around and work my way across the top right up there? Or should I 
decisions, decisions. Go through this saddle, work my way down this canyon and cross and get on that rim right there and ride that rim all the way out and across. And then there's a big old nice canyon that splits this and I can go back that way. I don't know. Something tells me that it'd be better to get down on that rim right there. Cause I've trailed down there before and then go out through that canyon. Then I'll still circle this mountain. And if that lion came across, surely I'll hit the track and, and the dogs will try to trail up through there. I thought in this big saddle right here, she might have come out of that country and crossed through here, but I got some tail wags and the dogs are hunting, but there's not a, they're not opening up and they can't trail. So I don't know. It turned out nice. I mean, it's cool. The sun's out, the wind slowed down. Yeah, it's a good day. I decided to come down. We came off of that right there. It's pretty sketchy. The worst thing is it's just loose rolling rock. So, I mean, you gotta be careful if you're riding, you don't hit, the rocks don't slide out from under your mule. Or if you're leading, that mule don't hit one of those big rocks and roll it down on top of you or one of your dogs. Now I'm getting some tail wags and P and Jazz has opened up right there a little bit. And they opened up on top a little bit. Sissy's whipping her tail and everything, but they're not going anywhere. They're not opening up and trailing. I think it's just some old scent. Slow going, but they're trailing. Sissy's doing all the work. The other dogs are there whipping their tails, but I haven't seen them do anything. I wonder how come P's not opening up on it. Strange, strange, strange. like I know where that lion's going and I'm gonna circle around go down right through that easy spot and get down the bottom of that canyon and I'll bet you when they get down the bottom of that canyon they'll probably be able to move that track maybe hopefully sissy's the only one even barking on it and she's just barely moving it P's not even barking on it P will bark on anything I never would have dreamed that sissy was colder than than P and when I say colder it means colder nose that means they can smell an older track I remember years ago I had Blackie and Solo and Solo is P's daddy this is back before I well I wasn't videoing consistently I don't even know if I was videoing much then I don't know but I I was up well, I lived up in the mountains then, up at my camp. And the dogs trailed across the mountain, just like this, just slow, slow, slow. And then they got up on the side, and I was down below. And I sat down just like this and built a fire, heated up some lunch, made me some coffee. And they trailed and trailed and trailed down the side of that mountain. I took a nap. And it took them, I don't know, hours to get down. Not very far. And then they trailed, and I got went over there with them. They were trailing, going. Came to where that lion had killed a calf. And then after that, they picked it up. When they trailed out the other end, I found the track. It was a big old tom. And when they trailed out that other side, they were really moving. But the heat got us again. 
I don't think I went up there the next day. I couldn't go for some reason. This is slow. P finally started opening up and trailing with, with Sissy. But they're just having a hard, hard time with it. You okay, Agnes? You're going to step on your reins. Don't run off. She's too lazy to run off. I'm going to move them. It's too slow. Too slow, even for me. About the time I think I'm going to pick them up and move them, she starts doing that. She picks it up way on down. It's still going down in the canyon. Never heard Sissy open up and bark like that. Those little, like, little chop barks. It's getting late in the day, though. And we're not making any time. We're hoping we'd trail to a kill or something. Got right to here and just lost it. They just can't find it here. I'm gonna move them down to where those two canyons come together. Maybe we'll get something right there and then I can take them down and get some water. And I can also check that other place where I might've lost my knife. Something just don't seem right. Now Jazz and Sheila are trying to trail too. And Clara. They had that lose right there. Go on, go on, go on. And then they turned and went up through here. I cannot find a track in here. But now we came down way over there, down, turned and went going back up and now they're turning back to the right <laughs> I don't know but I'm gonna eat some green chili stew you're worthless you're pretty but you're worthless I was taking them to that rock pile right there they hit the track again going up through here <laughs> 135. On the way out of there, I'll show you right here. I found what I thought is a big lion track. I could be wrong. But when I brought P over there, I hollered at her. She started trailing again. That track's going out this way. Because I went all over that rock pile up there. I climbed all over that, looked in every crack and crevice, and never could find nothing. The dogs never could get a bark up there. But about, I don't know, a quarter of the way down is where I found that track. And then they start trailing back out this way. But it's late. And I have no idea how old a track we're trailing. I didn't think they could trail an old track after the conditions we had last night. But I, pff, I don't know. And I am a long ways from the truck. Wouldn't you wish you had your pack animal and extra water in your tent, sleeping bag? And just Ben Lilly, of course, Ben Lilly didn't have a sleeping bag in a tent. <laughs> but Ben Lilly is a lot tougher than I am. Anyway, it's a good day. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll hit that lion right up here in this canyon. Maybe he made a kill right up here and he just laid up and we'll hit him, run him up there and put him on a rock and then decide what we're going to do. Right up to the top of this. Hey you guys, if you like the content, watch one of these videos right here or right here. Or subscribe and ring that little bell so you get notifications when I upload a video. And crush that like button! Just crush it!